Hey everybody, welcome back for episode 10 of my Let's Play of Hyperlight Drifter. Hope you're enjoying the series so far. So, last episode, we finished up in the western side of the map. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and begin exploring the southern part of the map. But first, I just wanted to show off this cool little area here. It's kind of like a soccer game that they uh, have once you finish up um, the western and the uh, northern and the western side of the uh, map, you're able to access this area. And let me tell you, this little uh, NPC soccer player guy, like, he just kicks your ass. Like, he's too good. Or I could also just be terrible at this. Most likely, I'm just terrible at this. But it's like a really cool thing that they decided to uh, add here is a little soccer playing minigame. It's a lot of fun. Even though he does uh, kick my ass quite a bit. And finally I was just like, ah, enough of that. Okay, yeah, so northern and western uh, side of the map, finishing those two areas up, lets you play the soccer game. So something that I've been uh, doing is just going back playing um, like older games that I have, some games I haven't played in a while. This, by the way, is one of the best decisions that I could have made. I did not know that you could upgrade to get more healing items. I think I went into the shop earlier that I wasn't certain if it was just more health overall, if it was more healing items. I'm very glad that I went and got that. But, yeah, so I've been playing a lot of, uh, older games that I have, uh, just kind of, um, I mean, like, some games that I have not played in a while. Um, but I decided to play the, uh, The Darkness. Which was, if you remember, was a game that came out on the Xbox 360, PC, and I think PC, and the PS3. And that game is still a ton of fun. It plays so well. And uh, I have the Xbox version, so if you install that on your hard drive, it's there's like no load times. It's insane. That's a fun, it's a fun game, man. I've also really been considering uh, going back and playing Demon Souls since that uh, the remake was announced. Excuse me, oh. yawning a little bit. So as uh, we head down here. We'll notice that well, we're not quite there yet. Let's give it a second here. Okay, gets the bridge. Go down the bridge, and you'll see that uh, this area was actually blocked off before. We would not have been able to uh, come down here.
So it appears that the uh, the old drifter originally set out on this quest after his family died of the same disease that's afflicting him and us. Ran into that same dog. At least he was able to mark where all the shards are before uh, he, he expired. He also gave us our gear. Or new gear, rather. So let's go ahead and uh, put that on. And we'll finish out his quest for him. Just want to see if there's anything new that, uh, going on on any of these areas here. Nice. And then right here, we can change the color of our cloak. And he throws something on the ground there. I have no idea what it is that he throws. Alright, so let's go ahead and head back to the southern part of the map. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and begin exploring this part. But yeah, I've been uh, really contemplating uh, doing or playing uh, Demon Souls. Just because of that... PlayStation 5 Remake? Man. They knew what they were doing with that. They knew that announcing that and having that be a launch title was gonna... So many people are gonna buy that thing day one. Alright, now we're going to the first dungeon of this area. So this part's kind of, um... different. I don't know how I feel about this area. It feels, um... I don't know. Like, a lot of thought went into it, but at the same time, not a lot of thought. It's not... there's, uh... With the exception of one part, there's really nothing that, uh, makes you feel like you've made it to the end of the game. Does that make sense? Or like you're close to the end of the game, I should say? I do like the music, though. Again, highly recommend they listen to this game, uh, with headphones on. They just love to swarm these little spider robots at you. Oh my god. I forgot how to heal for a second, too. Love it. The big robots are not tough. But these small little spider bots are just so difficult to get uh, rid of. Another piece of gold. Go ahead and uh, head out. Oh, sorry for the yawns. Nice little secret room. That. Yeah, don't know. Just been feeling really nostalgic with, uh... I guess everything that's been going on with quarantine. Or, uh... You know, whatever it is. By the way, that, uh... I don't know if you noticed, but now, anytime that I dash, I have a shield around me, 
with the first initial bash. And that is going to save my ass so hard. I got that upgrade. And I'm so glad that I just happened to get that upgrade. Because this next area would have been a nightmare without it. Really, the rest of the game would have been a nightmare, but... I'm just going to go ahead and lure the slime down here. Yeah, I've just been very, very nostalgic again. Playing older games, games I haven't played in a while. I've been wanting to play, like... PlayStation 1 era games. One in particular, I just have like this, the music for it stuck in my head. And it's like really good music. Definitely gonna do a playthrough of that at some point, but that would... We'll see. That's gonna be one of those uh, further down the line games, you know, not like uh anytime soon, because that's going to be a little bit of a commitment to do that game. I really don't want to play that. There we go, took all those guys out. Then we'll just lure all the slime down here. And they're really not difficult. Again, that freaking, uh, that grenade thing is such a good idea. Especially with this little area here. Anytime there's like a ton of enemies just grouped together. And I'm just checking to see if there's any of those uh, things there. Any of the shards, but... I even go back here. Just to, just to make sure that I didn't uh, miss anything. And I'm actually glad I did. There was a piece of gold there. That's perfect. I'm just double checking, making sure. I'll tell you what, that is a dickish place to, uh, respawn. You know, it's a game series I haven't thought of in a while, but I kind of wish that they would bring it back, because it was actually a really cool, uh... It could have been Sony's Halo. You know? Like that level of, uh... difference. Easily could have been. I'm talking about uh, the series Resistance. That could have been a. Uh... Oh man, that could have been a freaking amazing, amazing game series. But they dropped it off after the third one. Which sucked. But, go ahead and shut up because we're gonna. Go and get our first shard of the area right here, so we can go back and uh, explore that one door. Just kidding. It's a boss. Yeah, this caught me so off guard, and I don't know if you've noticed, but I have a single block of health with no healing items during this, uh, initial fight here. And this is why I said I was so glad that I decided to, uh, get that shield, because it saves my ass here so often. I also am doing pretty good, and I almost beat the boss. I, well, I thought I got further than that. Here I am saying I almost beat the boss with only one block of health. No, I didn't. 
but let's just go ahead and cut to my uh, successful run against this boss. And this boss just kind of came out of nowhere and it caught me so off guard, but I loved it. So you can actually destroy those um, smaller, like, gun things. They go down pretty much in a single shot, but he will first spawn more of them. But again, he seems really tricky and he seems like he's uh, going to be pretty difficult, but in all honesty, he's actually a pretty easy boss. Which is another issue. You know, like I said, that's just the issue with these um, later game bosses here. In this game, they just don't, they're not very challenging and they have a very simple uh, movement pattern. Now, of course, I'm not going to tell you how many times it took me to beat this guy. Because then you're going to be like, well, couldn't have been very easy and very simple if uh, it took that many attempts, but. And just like that. Man, but that was, that genuinely caught me by surprise. My, uh first time I found him, or first time I ran into him, rather. Just like, I was not expecting it whatsoever. But anyway, let's just go ahead and get this, uh, this shard now that that boss is taken care of. And this is something I would have really liked to see them do through the whole game, but, oh well. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here. So I hope you've enjoyed the video so far. We're getting pretty close to the end here. There's a couple more left. But uh, feel free to subscribe. Feel free to like and comment down below. Follow me on social media. And I will see you all in the next episode.